Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Soul Eater episode number 22. Uh, the previous episode was extremely uh, quite nice and uh, I have to say like I did not expect that coming. Like uh, I knew like uh, perhaps I had a feeling that perhaps Krona they would like uh, turn Krona into a good guy because like he is like he's a victim. He's like he just like he was led down a wrong path. So like by that reasoning I thought maybe like they will be like converting Krona into one of the good guys and someone will probably change him. Uh, but I did not expect that so soon and it happened really um, what can I say suddenly like uh, they were supposed to fight but they decided like no let me uh, let, let's just save him. So like that was quite unexpected and it was a nice little episode. Uh, we got a little bit of Krona's backstory and uh, things that happened we got to know. So yeah, the, and uh, the like the little versions, those TV versions of Mark and Krona were so cute, and uh, yeah, that was like a very nice episode. I enjoyed it a lot. So without further ado, guys, let's get started with episode number twenty-two of Soul Eater. Okay, so I'll be putting the timers and the subtitles here. Sync it to whichever is your preference, and let's get started. So here's the countdown: three, two, one, go. Today I think that we'll be getting like a uh, kid and blaster versus free and that witch. We're getting a little recap. <laughs> oh no, this guy, <laughs> this little devil. <laughs> I don't think that this little devil will give up. Oh. What what is that key? <laughs> okay, so there is something about Maka. Demon Slayer wave Wait, what? Oh yeah, um she was able to like uh what can I say? Make her like, soul's wavelength the same as Krona. So Krona being like a uh, like a Ragnarok is inside him. So like there must be some kind of similarity between uh, Maka and Krona's soul's wavelength. I guess I don't know. And uh, okay, that, I'm just like. Yeah, I was a little bit, what can I say, um, in the previous episode, I did not like give this any kind of like uh, thought, but it is kind of like weird, like how did Maka suddenly be able to like, uh, what can I say, like, uh, like get into the uh, same uh, soul space, uh, soul space as uh, Krona, like there must be some kind of similarity between their souls or something, otherwise that wouldn't have been possible. Because obviously like masters and the weapons, they like do so much training, so much like uh, they uh, like are beside each other for so long. And that is the reason why like they can like make the soul wavelength the same as each other and like make their soul resonance. So that takes a lot of practice. So like how could she like suddenly do that? That's another question. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. 
ไม่อยากเนี่ยอะไรอย่า I was thinking <laughs> what like what happened to him My God! <coughs> okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> good job. Good job. Um. Wait, what happened? Oh no! Well, <laughs> splash! Oh my God! <laughs> Good example. That is an amazing example. Hmm. Okay. What is he doing? Like pulling his pants? What the hell? Oh well, okay. All right, so Ragnarok is still there. There is something inside her, like this happened previously as well. Like uh, Medusa was surprised as well. Hmm. Wow! Like Marcus' fight already concluded, and they like still have not, <laughs> still have not. Reached. They're like extremely ahead. How large is this place? Like, it's a huge place. Guts of an old man. Um. No. No. Oh. Okay. I thought something else. Oh my God. Oh. Okay. Oh my God. What? So this is just a wavelength. Hmm. Awesome and. Order to seal him. Strip his skin from bones. Create a bag. Oh. Oh yeah, they said this before. Okay. 
Oh, so this is the bag. We always see this in the opening. Hmm. Okay. Oh my god, that's a huge explosion. Oh, free. Yep. Okay. Well, yeah, you need silver bullets. All right, we'll go. We'll see this again. Oh damn! Well, there it is. Oh. <laughs> Okay, let's see how he like how he handles this. He is immortal. So, like what's going to happen? Oh well, yeah, he is immortal, god damn. Alright. Okay, so... Oh my god. What happened? Yeah, he's not like... So he has no like, but he likes to fight. Why is he like? Yeah, there must be something like. Is this some kind of trap or something? Oh no, the symmetry. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I, I knew this. This is going to happen. Okay, he's not impressed. <laughs> yeah, he got distracted. Anyway. Oh, okay. <laughs> God damn this guy. Oh no. <laughs> God damn kid. Oh, I thought it was a pig. <laughs> what the hell? That's an elephant. <laughs> oh, no. I knew this was going to happen. Like, this is like one of his most problematic weakness. My God. <laughs> Speed of light. Oh my god, your hair, your hair might fall off. And here he is. Okay. Well, two versus one. Okay.
Oh no. <laughs> yeah. You have to like correct that. All right. Okay. Damn, Blaster has like become a lot powerful. Oh. Uh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like Like his weapon is Is this made of silver or something? What? Is he is he hologram? Like wait a second. Or oh, oh no no. What the hell am I saying? Okay, I'm confused. Wait, wait, wait. I knew it. Okay, yeah, I was correct. It's a hologram. Yes. <laughs> God damn. So, like, they were like stalling for time. Of exactly because like if he touches him yeah like I was also like thinking like how were the things getting through him even if he was immortal mm, yeah <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, let's go. <coughs> okay. Well, they like wasted a lot of time there. Hmm. Um, I don't think you should like give advice on that well what the hell? okay her name is Elka I, I always forget her name Elka Okay, so this is the seal or something. Yeah, most probably. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. 
Oh my god, the amount of sealing that they did. So many talismans and <coughs> Whoa, what the Okay, I don't think you should like stop Oh, okay, this is spooky What is this some kind of horror game? I think some something's going to jump out. Mm, okay. Well. All right. What the hell is that? What is that? Some like. Okay. Uh. She's hallucinating, isn't she? Yeah. I figured because like <coughs> because uh, demon like the demon lord is like sealed, so Oh my god, like it's messing with your mind. Oh no, like they're trying to kill each other. Uh, okay. Yeah. Damn, the demon god, that's not. Yeah. Well, I'm guessing, like, uh, what will happen if it comes out? Like, the demon lord or whatever that is, it won't, like, even uh, let go the people who have set him free. Like, I think, like, it won't discriminate between ally or enemy. So, like, this is one thing that really, like, like, like in animes and like st in stories, we usually see like a very like weak person or someone, like a, a scientist or someone or like that, uh, doing something like uh, breaking some seal or doing some kind of research to wake up a being which is like, like extremely powerful. Like there's a heaven and hell difference between them, and they expect, and they expect it to after like waking up. They expect it to like uh, listen to him or her, but that is like dumb. Why the hell would it listen to you? It will like stomp you down <laughs> and kill you like that. So <laughs> like this is like a recurring theme. So, but in this case, like Medusa and all of them are pretty powerful. So, like we have to see what what will happen. Like. What like if the demon god is resurrected, then what will it do? Like, will it discriminate between ally and enemy? Like, go into a mindless slaughter rampage. Okay, so this is the end. <coughs> Excuse me. Um. All right. So let's talk about this episode. Uh, this episode was um, what can I say? Um, interesting. Like, uh, the kind of like the trick they used to stall for time. 
was quite uh, clever and uh, uh, at the beginning we see like uh, a little bit of like uh, kind of like a recap and a little bit continuing from that so the thing with Krona and uh, Ragnarok so like in the previous episode I kind of said like uh, is like Ragnarok like uh, like dead or like did he like go away or something like that but apparently it's not that case like Ragnarok is still there and I think like uh, Ragnarok is most probably like some kind of like a set with Krona like uh, they're like uh, the same person or like some kind of like that thing like a separate entity living in the same body and uh, I don't know so, so like Ragnarok will probably uh, be stuck with Krona and uh, like uh, even though like Ragnarok bullies and uh, like hates Krona and does stuff like that um i don't know like uh the way they fight that th those type of fight feels as if like a, a sibling fight like uh like you see like they're in like uh some kind of like a sibling or older brother not your older brother yeah older brother or your younger brother who is like extremely um like uh like hits you and bullies you uh but like does not cross that l limit um, like he likes to like uh, what can I say like uh, torment you but still like keeps it within a level and I think like this is like a similar thing uh, like uh, Ragnarok always like hits Krona and like uh, torments him bullies him but uh, like uh, he, I don't think like it has not been shown uh, I don't know if like something else happened but uh, I've not seen like him really enduring or like harming uh krona in like a bad way so i don't know like i either think like this is like probably like how they interact so and like obviously like ragnarok is with krona for a very long time from like childhood so i don't know like this is like just like me like me uh <laughs> guessing and like uh thinking in a good way good manner like uh about Ragnarok so we like have almost like no information about who, what the hell Ragnarok is and I don't even know whether like uh, at, by the end of the show it will be revealed who actually Ragnarok is like what is it so like yeah like I'm just like thinking and uh, like uh, like I'm just uh, settling him for as like a sibling kind of like a um, bratty type of sibling who like torments or bullies the other one so yeah i think like they'll be probably fine like the main problem with uh krona was like medusa's upbringing and medusa's like uh, abuse towards him so if he is able to like uh, break that and uh, become independent uh, that will be like the best for him so yeah uh, and that's uh, that was it with like krona and uh, then we see uh, like we get to the portion where kid and blackstar catches up to uh, free and like i have to say like i don't know like i, I was thinking like it was it, i th was thinking it was a bit weird like when uh, kid was shooting his gun the bullets were like passing through him now he was saying stuff like i'm immortal and stuff like those so i was thinking most probably this was because like he is immortal he's not being affected but like i should have like uh, saw, saw this coming like uh, the bullets were like like going through his body so like even if he's immortal uh, if like a bullet hits you that should at least like fall like uh, touch your skin and fall down or does like do anything it it must come in contact with your body even if you're immortal so that thing did not happen and I, I, I did not pay that any mind but um later on uh, as as obviously like as a kid said that i was unable to understand what was happening because he was busy like uh, like what can i say running away uh, dodging the attacks and like if let's let, let's just think it like this like uh, uh free would not be able to harm uh, kid at all because obviously he was a hologram so like if by chance uh uh, kid did not was unable to dodge uh, uh, attack dodge and dodge and attack he would like like understand that yeah this is probably like something must be wrong with this guy like like his attacks are not hitting me 
so that means like kit dodged each and every attack that he tried to do and he was like also not pursuing him because of that reason as well so <clears throat> because of all of these things kid was unable to like think like uh, as far as uh, like uh, like he was like busy thinking all of these things how to like how to maneuver him or like how to defeat him and stuff like this and obviously the symmetry of the stuff <laughs> uh, in his surroundings that also kind of like occupied his mind so yeah that was like kind of hindering him uh, his ability to think so he did not get it as uh, like as fast as he should have got it but blackstar came in and <coughs> he like obviously I, I do not expect blackstar to understand these kind of like uh, crucial details because he is more like um, what can i say a guy who uh, like does things and does not think like he like he's like a brawny type of guy he like he fights and uh, accomplish things through actions not through brains so like <coughs> he started fighting and uh, <coughs> like like at that time like uh, uh, he uh, kid got it obviously and at that time it also kind of like i also got it as well like i said it before like i said that is that some kind of a hologram then i suddenly thought that why the hell would a hologram be here like uh, we have not never seen something like a hologram before and I, I i don't i didn't even know whether this anime would like deploy like introduce something as a hologram uh, in uh, like in an anime where there is like souls and demons and stuff so i was i, I thought that you know maybe I, I was wrong but then it turns out that it is kind of like a hologram it is more like a, some kind of uh, uh technique a special technique that they used and yeah like uh, the things that were like they were like going inside through her through his body and that is like what gave him off like uh, and kid also caught caught what was happening and this was interesting like um, they did like they made an like interesting way of stalling time and this was like quite interest uh, like quite brainy and like e easily he could have done this himself like uh, i'm talking about free like easily he could have just come and like tried to stall for time but they like took the intelligent way they decided to like um, keep uh, free with uh, uh, elka so that obviously like if an emergency uh, situation comes uh, out like for example them catching up with uh, El elka and uh, Bla uh, free at that time it would be free's uh, like a moment to stall for time but not before that so yeah that was a really like intelligent way of uh, stalling for time and they uh, succeeded in it uh, and i think like uh, if blaster came uh, like arrived at that uh, like uh, arrived there even at a later uh, time then uh, uh, what can i say um, they would have lost more time because like uh, kid would unable to be unable to understand because he is like a ranged fighter he would not come in contact with um, free so blaster if like he took more time into coming uh, into uh, if he took more time to arrive here then uh, kid would have lost more time and yeah that happened and <laughs> they were able to like uh, and so somehow like subaki was also kind of like preoccupied with uh, <clears throat> black stars as she said growth and all like uh, i was also thinking that like, black star has become a lot powerful like from the beginning of the show and i think like uh, the most um, what can i say improvement that has happened in this show about uh, amongst all the characters is most probably black stars because like obviously like soul and marker has improved a lot as well but i don't know why but i think black star is more powerful than them i don't know like this is just my uh that kind of like feeling that i get uh, and obviously kid is was strong from the beginning and uh, he is like a shinigami so he is uh, at a different level altogether so i'm not uh <coughs> comparing him with any other characters and after that we get to like that portion where uh, the demon god is sealed and i have to say like uh, the atmosphere they made there and uh, the kind of like spookiness they created was quite good and uh, i was thinking like there something's going to jump out but uh, <laughs> i got a little bit startled with that uh, sudden like uh, sound so yeah like i was anticipating something to like jump out <laughs> 
and I guess I was correct. And uh, uh, and like uh, I don't know, like uh, the the demon god was like messing with their minds, I think, and like that made them suicidal. Uh, like they were trying to kill themselves, but because of that, like uh, like when they tried to kill like kill themselves, like uh, he was like uh, making uh, like uh, trying to chop his head off and. Um, Elka was using like that needle to stab her throat and I think like that uh, like that uh, sensation of pain kind of like snapped their mind out of that trance and they came to their uh, like they came to <coughs> understand what was happening and break uh, broke free of that illusion or whatever so like it kind of made them mad so I'm thinking like <laughs> if this is like the thing that is happening <laughs> When the demon god is still like just imagine what will going to happen if it comes out so like uh, So they have like arrived at the main destination so uh, So like two things uh, like uh, the probability of them unsealing the demon god is more now so let's see like uh, what's going to happen like uh, wh wh is uh, like if the demon god is going to be unsealed or not or like they <coughs> So thinking about it, uh, Black Star, um, Kid, Soul, and Maka, four of them are on their way to stop them now. So obviously, like uh, Medusa is uh, stalling uh, Stein, but they are like uh, okay, so, uh, are going to like catch up uh, pretty much a lot quicker because obviously, like the this madness thing or the thing that's happening here is going to <coughs> take a little bit of time, and the unsealing process, I think might also take a bit time so uh, i'm guessing like um, they will be like in midst of unsealing the demon god and then uh, at that time uh, soul marka and the whole team will is going to like arrive and probably like they'll have a big fight i'm guessing like this is just all my guesswork and uh, but like <laughs> like i have to say like uh, this anime surprises me a lot like uh, a lot of things i have like thought about uh, earlier and uh, i've thought like yeah uh, something like this might happen but when the time comes like it completely what can i say like uh, <laughs> like the anime like surprises me and uh, the thing that i thought should happen does not happen usually and like most of the time this has happened and i'm thinking like i'm thinking this now like uh, i said like what's going to happen uh, this is just my guess that might not happen obviously because like uh, this anime has a way to like what can i say um like uh not uh, like make you believe something's going to happen but actually that does not happen so i've yeah so that might <coughs> so the things that i've said might actually not happen so yeah uh, so yeah that was this episode uh, that was a nice episode and uh, we like that portion was like uh, really interesting and the way that stalled that time i really like that and that was like an intelligent method and <clears throat> instead of like going through the n normal usual route that anime take, like you go ahead i'm going to stall for time i'm going to stop them here they took a like a more interesting way a more interesting manner of stopping them and i enjoyed that so yeah guys so that was this episode and uh, this was episode number 22 uh, if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and uh, be sure to comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to share i'll be sure to check them out and uh, i'll be back with a new soul eater episode next week uh, so until then goodbye and have a nice day